Hey, how's it going, LP Nation? I'm Landon Dowlitzing. How was your Valentine's Day? Hopefully it was a lot better than Oscar Batoris's. Do you guys remember him? Well, you guys probably know him as Blade Runner. He was the first ever South African sprinter to be in the Olympics as a double amputee. Also known as the fastest guy with no legs. Well, right now, there's a murder allegation against him for killing his girlfriend and are calling this the Valentine's Day murder. He said that it was a mistake, a surprise that went tragically wrong. He thought she was a burglar when he shot her four times in the head and hand with the shotgun that he keeps next to his bed. She was pronounced dead at the scene. His girlfriend was Reba Stenkamp, a 30-year-old law graduate. For the past two years, she was named in the top 100 sexiest woman. And this all happened in his luxury home. They've been dating for only three months. Months before this incident, he posted this onto Twitter. Nothing like getting home to hear a washing machine and thinking it's an intruder. Blade Runner almost shot his freaking washing machine also. Buddy, how paranoid are you? Police are saying that her death is being treated as murder. He's in custody right now and is due back in court. He is an icon in Africa, and already people are taking down billboards of them. He's sponsored by Nike, and Nike has already taken down their billboards. And they're no longer going to be sponsoring the Blade Runner. Their billboard said, I'm the bullet in the chamber. Let's move on. Let's talk about 4,200 people who were stranded on a Carnival cruise ship, Triumph, who also wasn't able to do anything for Valentine's Day. All these people were set up to sea in the Gulf of Mexico when a fire broke out in the engine room, knocking out its power and its plumbing. This is a huge vessel, 893 feet, and now it's just sitting motionless out there. Because there was no plumbing, people had to actually shit in bags. People described it as an outpowering stench. Yeah, no shit. Cruise ship fail. It stranded people out to sea for five days. Finally, it was towed back into land on Valentine's Day. And guess what? This isn't actually the first time that a cruise ship has failed. Do you guys remember last year the luxury cruise ship that capsided off the coast of Tuscany? which is the coast of Italy, forcing 4,200 people to aboard the cruise ship and to evacuate with lifeboats onto a nearby island. This tragedy actually left 32 people dead. Seriously, why is getting onto a cruise ship becoming more scarier now? I mean, back-to-back -back years has been a huge cruise ship fail. I'm definitely not going to be going on a cruise ship anytime soon. The chief executive Gary Gahel said in a statement, that he's going to refund everyone's ticket back with an additional $500. He said to the media that he's very sorry that our guests had to endure this. What do you guys think of the story? Is $500 enough for these guys for what they had to go through for five days? You had people on a cruise ship shitting in bags. Guess what? There's a new world record for the longest kiss. Nine couples came together to compete for this competition. And the winner of this world record was going to get cash and prizes. Participants, I can't catch up. I can't really say his name, so his name will be right there who is 44 years old, along with his wife, has set a new world record, which lasted 58 hours, 35 minutes, and 58 seconds. The couple won this title for the second time in three years. The couple that won it last year was actually a gay couple from Thailand. Their kiss lasted 50 hours and 30 minutes. To be a part of this competition, you are not allowed to sleep. And if you have to go to the bathroom, well, your lips have to still be touching. What do you guys think of this world record? Would this be a record that you guys would ever attempt? All right, last story of the day for you guys. There's this teenager who just got re-arrested for stealing a bus. Jonathan Cole Collins, he's 18 years old. When he was released from prison after serving a sentence for misdemeanor drug offense, he had no other way home, so he started to walk. And he felt cold to continue, so he saw this empty school bus. The bus driver actually left their keys inside of the bus. A security camera inside the bus is automatically activated every time the bus is turned on. On the security camera, you can see him getting into the bus, putting a seatbelt on, and driving away from the parking lot while struggling to close that door. He drove about 8 miles to his house, and then he banded the school bus at a nearby elementary school, and then he walked home from there. Hey, at least he was smart enough to return the bus at an elementary school. If that was me and I was caught by the cops, I would say, well, I'm just delivering them a school bus. Well, because of his stupidity, he's back in prison now, could be facing one year of jail or $1,000 in fine. What do you guys think of the story? So that's pretty much all the stories I have for you guys today. If you guys are interested in reading more about the stories, just click the link in the description below. I'll see you guys tomorrow.